Hey, good morning. I hope you're doing well this morning. Uh, today, our lesson is entitled, Let's Do This. It's from the same leaflet we've been using. It's coming in the uh, Bible, or the, uh, this, the lesson comes from Numbers 13, 17 uh, through chapter 14 and verse 10. But today, our memory verse is Psalm 119, verse 16. And it says, I will delight myself in thy word. And so our lesson, I'm going to read from the leaflet because this is a lot of verses to read about from Numbers. So y'all stay with me and we're going to talk about it for a few minutes, okay? So it says, the Israelites have been traveling a very long time and God had taken good care of them. They have finally arrived close to the land that God had promised them. God was ready to protect them and give them the land, but the people turned their eyes away from God. They decided they should send spies into the new land to make sure it was good and safe. God was frustrated. But he told Moses to go ahead and send the spies. Twelve men were sent to search out the land. They brought a good, a lot of good food back with them and shared how beautiful it was there. Then ten of the twelve spies made everyone afraid. They talked about the city, uh, people that lived there, and the great walls. But Caleb and Joshua trusted God. They wanted to go right then and take the land. They, uh, they saw what a good place it was and knew God would help them. They knew God was on Israel's side, but the rest of the people did not want to put their trust in God. So today, the Israelites, they've been traveling uh, a very long time through the wilderness. Do you remember where they came from? They came from Egypt, and when they were in Egypt, they were enslaved. And so the uh, Israelites are God's chosen people, and they were enslaved, and so they, so God sent uh, Moses to get them out of slavery and bring them to the promised land. So y'all know the story. Moses went up to Pharaoh and said, uh, Pharaoh, let my people go. And Pharaoh said, no, Moses, we're going to keep your people here. I need my workers. And so Moses and God talked about it, and God told Moses to keep talking to Pharaoh. And uh, God said he was going to send some plagues to uh, Egypt. And so during that time, uh, Moses was trying to talk to Pharaoh. They had 10 plagues that he hit Egypt. And that last time Moses talked to Pharaoh, Pharaoh said, all right, Moses, get your people and get out. You can go. Because Pharaoh was just so frustrated with what the plagues had done to his land, to his home of Egypt. And finally, Pharaoh just realized that things weren't going to get better until he let the people go. So they've been traveling the wilderness for 40 years. And that's where our lesson is picking up today. Um, God was ready for them to go in and take the land. And so, but the people of Israel, they were scared. They said, no, 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 we can't just go in there. We need to see what the land is like. And God was a little frustrated because he got them this far. And now they're like, they want to go send spies in. And so they went into, went into they 12 guys gathered up and they said they were going to go. And Moses was going to send them into, into the land. He said, when you go in, I want you to check out some things. They, they listened. He said, first, I want you to check out what the land is like. Check out and see um, what we're going to be taking over. Look at the people. Are they big? Are they small? Are they weak? Are they strong? We need to know. We need to know what we're going to be up against. He said, also, I want you to look at the land. Is it good? Is it bad? What kind of crops are they able to grow? And if you're able to, why don't you bring us back some free samples? Because, you know, we need to be able to test the food too, see what, what we're going to be able to eat, what's going to be able to be grown. And then lastly, I want you to check out uh, their homes, see what the city is like. Do they have big walls uh, govern over the city or do they have like an open plan where visitors can just walk right in? So the guys went back to their families, they went to their wives, they hugged their kids and they packed their suitcases and they went into the promised land. And they were gone for 40 days. So 40 days, think about that like 40 days. That's the last time, about as long as we haven't been uh, at school. That's about as long as we've not been at school. Or 40 days is about as long as we've been. it's been since we haven't been able to go to church. Um, that's how long they were gone. And while they were gone, they started at the north end of the city. They worked their way down. They came back to the other side. And they came back and reported to Moses. And they ran in and they were shouting, Moses, Moses, we've got things to tell you. We've got a story. we got to tell you what's going on, what we found out. And so they came in. And so first they gave Moses the food samples. And it was some of the most delicious food they had ever had. 
while they were there. It was really good food. The soil was great. It was great for growing. But then they told Moses, they said, Moses, we cannot take this land. I don't know why we came this far. There's no way we can take this land. And Moses said, what are you talking about? And Tim, the guys said, Moses, their city walls are so huge. There's no way we're going to be able to get over them. And the men and women there, they're big, they're strong. We, there's just no way we can do this. There's, there's no way we can fight them. And you know what else, Moses? You know what else we saw? We saw giants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Moses, we saw giants in the land. Uh, there's just no way we can, we can take them. And so that was what 10, ten of the guys said. Well, two guys, their names were Caleb and Joshua. They said, Moses, no, we can do this. And Moses said, looked at him, he said, they said, no, Moses, let's do this. God's got us this far. We can go take the land. It doesn't matter how big they are. It doesn't matter how big their walls are. Moses, we can go in and we can do this. And so Moses had the people. Um, he talked with the people and the 10 guys. They said, no, we're not going in there. And after they got through with their meeting, the 10 guys went back and they started talking to the other Israelites and word got around and people in Israel were very afraid. They were scared to go in and take the land of Canaan or take the promised land that God had promised to them. And so first they were upset. They said, why did Moses bring us this far if we uh, are not going to be able to defeat the people in the promised land? They're upset that God had them come this far. And then the other thing they said was, well, why don't we just go back to Egypt? And everybody kind of turned around and looked at each other and kind of thought about it. And they all remembered, well, in Egypt, they had food. They had water. They had shelter. Yeah, they kind of got beat up by their masters every once in a while. But, you know, at least they it was better than um, going into the promised land to try to take this land that the people there, they thought were going to be able to defeat them. And so... Moses, so the people lost faith that God was going to take care of them. Well, then one of the other guys in the group, he said, well, yeah, but Moses isn't going to let us go back. He's got us this star. He's going to make us go take this land. And they said, well, we can go back to Egypt. But nobody said uh, Moses had to go. We can elect a new leader and leave Moses here and go back to Egypt. So the people had lost trust in God. They had lost faith that he was going to take care of them. And right now, with the way the world is right now, things are going on, it's real easy to lose trust in God. When times are hard, that's when it's easy to lose trust. But you know what? That's when you need to have trust in God the most. You need to trust that God is going to take care of you through everything, no matter what. Because the world is just a, it's not a fun place sometimes. Uh, God has a plan for all of us. And the Israelites, they were at the point where God was going to, uh, they were at the last step of God's plan and his plan to get them from Egypt to the promised land. The last step was just to take the land and then the land be theirs and they build their homes there. But they got scared. They lost faith in God. They lost sight that he was going to take care of them. And so my prayer for you and all of us is that even though things may be tough, um, that we can hold hold on to God and that we can trust him. So during this time, it's been hard for us at Austin Chapel. Why has it been hard? Well, we haven't been able to see each other. We've been stuck at home. Um, it's been kind of hard to worship, but you know what? We've made the best of things. We've had our services available um, on Facebook and YouTube. We have our Sunday school lessons available. Um, we're doing the best we can uh, and making the most of it. We can worship together, but separate. I mean, during the services, we can make we can uh, comment and like on Brother Justin's sermons. Um, you can comment and you can or you can chat with your your Sunday school teachers by text if you need somebody to talk to because we're all here for you. Um, I know Miss Amber; she uh, she teach, usually teaches, and then Brother Mitch and Miss Rhonda they teach their Sunday school lessons from their homes, and Brother Lewis he teaches his lesson from home. And Brother Justin, he's been able to preach in the, in the sanctuary at Austin Chapel. And I'm, I'm at home tonight teaching this lesson. And or at home now teaching this lesson. And um, 
we're making the most of what we have because things are a little rocky. But you know what? I think we're going to see the, uh, the bright side of everything or the good side of everything real soon. And we just have to continue to trust God. God's going to have a plan for all of us. Or God has a plan for all of us, I should say. And so no matter what, we have to continue to trust him. Um, the Israelite, we're right now, this is our giant, what's going on in the world. And the Israelites, their giant was um, trusting God, was trusting that God was going to take care of them uh, to go take over the land, the promised land. And so right now, they're, they're not trusting that God's going to get them through their giant. But my hope and my prayer for you and for me and anyone is that we will continue to trust God while we face or face in the uh, that's going on right now in the world. So I'm going to close us in prayer. I hope to see all of you at our um, at our services this uh, this morning at our driving service. But if you're not able to make it, I hope to see you real soon. And I can't wait until we're all able to worship together again. Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to thank you for this day. I want to thank you for providing a means for us to be able to uh, share your word. Uh, Father, I pray something from this lesson we can all take and use in our lives. I pray, Father, that uh, we will always continue to trust in you. I pray that we will be able to trust you and remember that you have a plan for us and and trust that you'll see us through it all. Father, I pray that you with Brother Justin this morning as he preaches from your word. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.